debris from around the house and stuff like that all day throughout the night. Well, then I went to go to my house. It was dark at that time. And so I went to go to my house. So I turned around and time by. Well, I seen the sky was lit up orange or whatnot. And I was like, man, that's kind of weird. You know, it's pitch black. And at that time, I was already on the Wave Runner. And I wanted to go check out, see what was going on. So I rode all the way up there to where um, Merlo Beach. And um, the house was all, it was flaming. I mean, it was, it was wild. It looked like it was going to catch that whole neighborhood on fire. And it was deep down there. I mean, it was, I had been over my head up there at Marlow Beach. And so I looked around, I seen a flashlight um, at the neighbor's house across the street. I yelled up to him, asked him if, every, if everybody in the house was okay. I couldn't hear, make out what they were saying to me, but I seen the thumbs up like this. So I gave it back to him. And at that time, pulled out here just to look at the trailers. Well, I seen how fast that water was flowing, I mean, out towards the ocean. Well, I went to turn around. Well, when I went to turn around, man, it just swept me down the right side of the uh, campground, down the lane. Shoot, it didn't seem like 10 seconds I was out of the bathhouse. Once I got swept around the bathhouse, I grabbed the side of the... Uh, Hold of Site 41, the electrical box, where it's sticking up. And as soon as I grabbed a hold, it ripped me right off of it. You know, I had, I was, shoot, man, it, it was, you know, I thought I had more strength than that, but I didn't at all. And uh, it ripped me off of it. Well, then when it ripped me off, it was, well, then I tried to get my foot planted down in the sand with a wave runner. Well, it kept sucking me out. I got past the sand dune, and at that time, I mean, there was so much stuff was going on in my head. I didn't know, you know, what to do. And know whether to stay on a wave runner, try to ride it out to the ocean, and try to make it up onto the shore somewhere. But the thing was, well, I couldn't see the waves, you know. I'm, and uh, it's, it's another story when you can't see anything out there, you know. I mean, all you're hearing is the wind howling, and and um, that's pretty much all you could hear, hear. And even see, you couldn't see nothing except for the water just flowing. And at that time, I was like, I had, I was like, I got to jump off of it, you know. This is what it's going to happen. I got to do it. So I jumped off of it. When I jumped off of it, I looked back at the wave runner, and it went out of sight. I tried to stand right up or knock my feet out from underneath me two different times when I was trying to stand up. So then it was rolling me back farther towards the shoreline, which I couldn't tell even where the shoreline was at. You know, the water was just flowing. It was just going. You know, I was just panicking, you know, and then I planted my feet into the sand. And once I dug my toes into the sand or whatnot, it was just one step. I mean, digging for 20, 25, 30 minutes maybe from the dune to the bathhouse. The tide's actually coming up some more. It's draining out here. I'm like, trailers are gonna start getting swept out into the ocean. And then finally, I'm like, man, I just got, I gotta make it back to my house. But the tide, shoot, I had to swim across the highway. It dips down, the land does right there where the highway's at. Mm -hmm. And it's over my, it was over my head all the way to my house. Even down my road over there, I mean, that current was just, it was just pulling. I got to the house, I sat down and and I just, I couldn't believe what really just happened. I mean, it was like, it took a while for it to actually process through my head that I just lost my wave runner to the ocean, about lost my life. and.